program. So Dart office offers a ton of different um, reduced fare options for seniors, for students, for those that are disabled. And so we thought maybe a natural uh, expansion of that was to look at uh, means-based ways of, of looking at uh, doing fairs. And so staff's been working really hard with the board members to find a way that we can do that. We've got other agencies that have already shown us how this thing could work. For example, if, if someone is a part of a state or federal program that's already been verified, so um, that might be a Section 8 voucher, that might be something with um, Parkland Hospital, if they've already identified that you're low, low income, then that means DART doesn't need to, you know, secure a bunch of paperwork and W-2s from you. You can show us that card. You can show us your, you know, Lone Star card. We can say, great, thumbs up that, that uh, you would qualify for our program, and we would allow you to then start paying 50% of the fare instead of the full 100% fair. And so that's something that we think um, would impact a ton of our customers that currently are riding the system, but also those who are not riding DART for various reasons. So maybe those who are uh, thinking that our, our fare is a little bit too high, high and so they then uh, maybe get a car, a cheap car that reliable or not, but something that, that they can count on that for the amount of money they maybe right. were spending on a fare before, they were putting it putting it on a car. And so we want to attract some other customers uh, from DART with this new low-income fare program. And and the board's been working hard on this, so it's spent a lot of time at our retreat talking about it, and uh, we're teeing it up uh, for approval uh, in this spring time frame for next year's budget. That's great. And so if people wanted to learn more about ridership or learn more about DART in general or learn more about you, where, where would you uh, send them? I would send everyone to www.dart.org. So that's our main place where you can go to, to learn about how you can get tickets, how you can find your way across the Metroplex, um, Dartable uh, things. So if you're looking for how could I get to the museum on DART or what's near the DART rail lines, if I want to make a date out of it, definitely check out dart.org. Um, it's a great resource for everyone in the community. John, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming on. Don't forget us when the mixtape come comes out, and uh, we'll catch you at an SMU basketball game. You will. Thanks, guys, for having me. All right, this is Deconstructing Dallas. Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams will be back right after this. Constructing Dallas, Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams. Sean, big time fun interview with John. Loved having him uh, in the studio here at the Allen Media Worldwide Headquarters Studios. Yeah, and we've had these conversations at lunch. We've gone out to lunch with John and yeah. just to pick his brain about transportation. And he's really knowledgeable. He's really in, invested into DAR. He's invested into transportation and yeah. he studies. And I really like that. Guy does his research. And uh, again, shout out to him and uh, his colleague, especially uh, our friend Dominique Torres. And uh, I, I should call her our friend and social media influencer Dominique Torres. I think that's right. Dominique, can I get a retweet on this when I send this episode out? Thanks. I think that's I think that's right. Yeah. So um yeah, so thanks to John and uh, we look forward to continuing to uh, work with and follow Dart and everything that they're doing. Uh, before we go, I noticed that um, you have made a Powerball purchase. Sean, I've got the winner right here. Two hundred and twenty-eight million and one hundred thousand dollars. I got the cash value option. So, uh, you know, you were kind enough to bring me an iced tea this morning into the studio. So, uh, when when I win, uh, you know, you let me know what you need. If you need a latte or if you need some sort of uh, chai tea, just let me know. You know what would be great? I think if you win. Um over two hundred million dollars, which will give you a hundred and something million, whatever that is, probably after taxes and all no, that. this is the after tax. Oh, that's account. the a- oh, that's the after tax number. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well, you'll definitely be able to afford to get us two microphones okay. for our show. You yeah, get, you get I'll look one, into I get that. one. I'll we'll, look into okay, that. Okay, that's my request. If I win the Powerball, all I want to do is 
record deconstructing that <laughs> all the time all the time just an episode per day we will go on our, our road show that we've discussed and we will go to vegas and we will go record on the beach and we'll just talk about dallas stuff from afar i'm in man i am in yeah. so um thank you ryan for including me in your powerball winning <laughs> and thanks to john killen for coming in and visiting with us here on deconstructing dallas we as always want to thank mary woodley thank jennifer pascal for uh, allowing us to do this this is an Allen Media production. For those of you who are listening, we would ask that you would go and wherever you listen to our show, give us a like, give us a review, especially those of you who are on Apple Podcasts. We would love for you to give us a five star rating. We would love for you to write in a quick review on social media. Definitely give us a retweet. We've got another show coming up with Ken Malcolmson from the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce. So get ready for that. But until we meet again, this is Sean Williams, Ryan Trimble. Deconstructing Dallas. Adios.